In today's video, folks, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious mini cornbread muffins using your egg bite molds in the Instant Pot. Cooks in only 10 minutes with a five minute release. And it's simple, quick, and delicious. Hello, everyone. Doesn't that look good? I love, love cornbread, and I have not had it in a long time. Uh, I tested this recipe out a couple days ago just to make sure it was going to be good. Because I've, I've had a couple duds that I've had to throw away the film. A little bit too much information, but let's get right into this. I have pre-measured into this bowl here one half a cup of flour, a half a cup of cornmeal, and then I have a quarter teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. Not baking soda, baking powder. So that's going to be our dry ingredients. And I'm going to go through the ingredients first, and we're going to get right to mixing this up. It's only going to take a minute. Remember, with this channel, it's all about simple recipes that are easy to make, but taste really, really good. So here we go with the wet ingredients. I have pre-measured in here a quarter cup of sugar and one egg. I'm going to add to that one half a cup of milk, spill a little bit on the counter, and two tablespoons of melted butter, or you can use a vegetable oil. And then what I'm going to do is set this aside for now, and we're going to get right into mixing this up. Again, this is not going to take long. So that's all the ingredients that there is to this, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk these dry ingredients, make sure that they're all mixed up, everything's all combined together. You just have to do that for a few seconds. That looks pretty mixed up. Then I'm going to move that out of the way, slide the wet ingredients in. This is going to take a little bit longer because I want to make sure that all of the sugars dissolve. But you'll notice I'm using the whisk first on the dry ingredients and then going into the wet ingredients. So I'm going to do this for a couple minutes <laughs> till that sugars dissolve and everything's combined. And then I'll bring you back when we're ready to start the next step. Okay, folks, like magic, we've traded places here with the dry ingredients. There's the wet ingredients all mixed together. And now what we're going to do is combine the wet ingredients with the dry. Just put those in, get that bowl out of the way. And what you don't want to over stir this. You just want to mix it in. And it's okay if you uh, see some lumps in there. Lumps are okay. The big thing is you don't want to over stir this. So just mix it till it's just combined. Just a few seconds. There we go. That's ready, folks. Now we're going to go on to the next step. And we're going to use one of these things. So I'm going to set that over there. I'm going to put this here. We're going to get a spritzer. So what you can do, you can either coat these with butter, um, or if you have a spray can or an atomizer like I have, just give each of these a coating with the oil, and then we're going to start spooning it in. So what I'll do is I'll just spoon in for one. I'm just taking a tablespoon, putting it in there, and you want to fill it till it's about three quarters full because it will rise because of the baking powder that we put in. So just fill them up about that much. I'm going to fill the rest of them up. No sense wasting your time, and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, there was just enough in that bowl to fill up one Instant Pot mold. So you might think, wow, that's a coincidence. No, I got this recipe from ChatGPT, and I told it I wanted a cornbread recipe that I could cook in my Instant Pot using one egg bite mold. So, and I asked it to give me the proportions enough to fit one egg bite mold. So the next step, folks, is to get this ready to go into the oven. So I'm just going to move that bowl out of the way. Put this here. This is a sling that I have. It just makes it easier. You don't need to have one of these, but it's going to be a lot easier to lift it in and out. Whoop. 
Sorry about that, folks. Camera accident. So you don't need one of these, but it makes it a lot easier to lift it in and out of the Instant Pot when it's all done. So let me get that Instant Pot out, folks. I'm going to put one cup of water in it. Then we're going to lower this into the basket and get that cook started. Okay, folks. So I have one cup of water in my Instant Pot. What I'm going to do is just snap this together and then lower my sling into the Instant Pot. If you have a trivet, whatever device you use to put it in and out of your Instant Pot, you can use that. Now we're going to put this on pressure. Make sure it's on high pressure. We're going to put the lid on. Make sure that it's in sealing position and then start the cook time for 10 minutes. That's going to build up to pressure and then count down 10 minutes. Then we're going to let it naturally release for five minutes. Once that five minutes is up, folks, I'll bring you back, show you the five minute timer. We'll pop that lid and see how much these muffins have raised. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, our five minutes is up. We're going to press cancel on that and move that vent over. And we're starting to release the pressure. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to crack that lid, see what it looks like. Okay, folks, here we go. Watch out for the steam. Whoa, look at those muffins. They did raise, folks. And I'm just going to get a piece of paper towel here and pull those out. Good thing with this type of material, it doesn't stay hot to the touch. I'm just going to drain a little bit of that water that splashed up. And you don't need to worry about that. It's not going to impact the muffins. So let me get this Instant Pot out of the way, folks. We'll show you what they look like. So here we go, folks. It's going to poke one of these out. They are hot, but look at that. Doesn't that look good? And they smell amazing. So I'm just going to take these out, folks, keep them on the rack. Stay tuned. We have a taste test coming up. Okay, folks, so here we are. I have one cornbread muffin. I've, I've watched some of my past videos, and I realize I'm not holding this close-up shot long enough. So I'm going to hold it a little bit longer for you this time. But here you go. Here's what it looks like. It smells just like a corn muffin should smell and it's bite size so it's all proportions right let's go in for a bite delicious look This is incredible. Put a little bit of butter on that. It would just take it to the next level. A delicious, simple recipe. Swallow. <laughs> this is good and easy. Remember the key to this channel, if I'm putting, putting a recipe out there, it's got to taste good. I've done a couple, um, that's why I'm late sometimes. Uh, it's because I've gone through the whole motions, I've filmed it, and then I go to taste it. It might taste good, but it's not good enough, right? So I'm not gonna release those videos. Um, this one tastes good. And using cornmeal, you might wonder, well, what's the, what about corn flour? This recipe is for specifically for cornmeal. Cornmeal's a little bit healthier for you. They're both not extremely healthy, but they do have nutrients in there that are good for you. But cornmeal is what gives it that gritty texture when you bite into them. Uh, but yeah, it's delicious. It's simple. It's easy. Please try it out if you like cornbread. You'll love this recipe. And it cooks really fast. No, you're not getting any cat. So, I said, no, no food for you. I'm like the soup Nazi. 
thanks a lot, everyone, for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, there should be some playlists popping up in a video that YouTube thinks that you, you may like. I'd encourage you to check it out. And if it's something that you do, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along. Thank you, folks. Jamie, signing off. Corny goodness. <laughs>